Hello everyone, I'm Sotai. Today, I'm excited to show you a brand new solution called Dream Omni 2, a model that's being praised as the new king of image generation and editing, beating top models like Flux Context, CoinEdit Image, GPT-40, and even Nano Banana. As you can see from these tests, Flux Context and CoinEdit, two models I've covered before, completely missed the prompt. Flux context gets confused when handling two image inputs, and Quinedit, while slightly better, still fails to follow Poe's instructions accurately. Even commercial giants like GPT-40 and NanoBanana can't get it right. Their outputs break down badly, especially in anatomical details. But Dream Omni 2? Perfect. Stable. Exactly on prompt. Pretty amazing, right? And here's the best part. You can run Dream Omni 2 completely free on your own PC through Comfy UI. So in this video, I'll guide you step by step to install and build a Dream Omni 2 workflow in Comfy UI, then run real tests to see its power in action. Let's get started. First, let me quickly introduce Dream Omni 2. This is a brand new solution developed by a team from ByteDance, and it was just released recently. Dream Omni 2 is designed to handle two main tasks multimodal image generation and multimodal image editing. For image generation, you can provide multiple reference images along with text instructions, and the model will create a completely new image from scratch. What makes it powerful is its ability to maintain identity consistency across subjects, preserve abstract attributes like artistic styles, lighting, or textures, and seamlessly combine multiple references into one cohesive composition. For example, you can tell the model to take the pose from image A, or maybe the lighting from image B, or even the hairstyle from image C, and it'll keep the main subject exactly the same. For image editing, you simply provide a source image, one or more reference images, and text instructions. The model will precisely modify only the specified areas while leaving the rest of the image perfectly untouched. You can replace a person in the photo, change the style of the image, or swap product patterns based on your reference images, all without breaking the background or composition. This is exactly why Dream Omni 2 is being praised as one of the most powerful solutions for both image generation and editing available today. Pretty awesome, right? Now let me show you how to install and run this solution on Comfy UI completely for free. But before we dive into the workflow, there are a couple of things you'll need to set up first. The first step is pretty important. Since Dream Omni 2 isn't integrated directly into the Comfy UI core yet, you'll need to install a custom node pack called Comfy UI RH Dream Omni 2. This was created by the team over at Running Hub, and honestly, they've done an amazing job. They basically wrapped the entire Dream Omni 2 solution into a set of dedicated nodes. So instead of messing around with complex manual setups, you can just drag, drop, and start using it right inside Comfy UI. Super convenient. You can install this custom node either through Comfy UI Manager or by going straight into the custom nodes folder inside Comfy UI and running the commands shown here. The second step is to download the required model files and place them in the correct directories. Here's what your folder structure should look like once everything's set up. I'll leave the download links for all the necessary files in the corresponding post on Patreon. And finally, just restart Comfy UI and you're all set to start running the Dream Omni 2 workflow. Once you're all set up, let's go ahead and build the workflow. As I mentioned earlier, Dream Omni 2 is designed for two main tasks, image generation and image editing, so we'll be using different sets of nodes for each of these. For image generation, the core is the Dream Omni 2 generator node right here. Along with it, you'll need the Dream Omni 2 gen pipeline node. As you can see, this node takes in a prompt plus up to three reference images. You can adjust the output resolution, as well as key sampling parameters like number of steps or guidance scale to fine-tune the generation. The output is, of course, your final generated image, which you can then connect to a preview or save image node depending on what you want to do. For image editing, the central piece is the Dream Omni 2 editor node, together with its edit pipeline. This one takes in your original image, plus one reference image and your editing prompt. Unlike the generator, here you can't change the output size, since the node ensures that all non-edited regions and the original dimensions are perfectly preserved. The output is your edited result, ready for you to view or save. And that's it, the workflow itself is actually super simple. But don't underestimate it, because the results are seriously impressive. 
Alright, now let's test out this workflow so you can see what Dream Omni 2 is really capable of. I'll start with the image generation task. First, I'm going to upload my character and elf girl, as you can see here, and feed it into the Omni 2 generator node. The prompt will be simple. A woman from the first image sitting in the living room. Hit run and here's the result. Nice. That's a solid start. Dream Omni 2 returned exactly the character I uploaded. Distinctive features like her pointy ears and overall identity are well preserved. The lighting is harmonious and natural and the generated image matches the prompt perfectly. The character is sitting on a sofa in a living room. This shows that with this solution, you can consistently generate images of any character you want. For the next example, and I think many people doing product advertising will love this, I'll test its ability to integrate products. I'm going to add a bottle of Sotai perfume, as you see here, and update the prompt to holding the perfume from the second image. And here's the result. Pretty amazing, right? I got exactly the image I had in mind. Not only did it keep the character consistent, but it also let her interact with another object. In this case, the perfume bottle. Even though there are two interacting elements, the solution still preserves the character's identity in the output image. And what's really impressive is that the product details, size, color, and logo, are all faithfully reproduced. This means advertisers can use this solution to quickly generate marketing visuals, significantly cutting down advertising costs. Finally, let's push it a bit further and test its maximum control using three reference images. This time, I'll add another girl's photo and modify the prompt to same the lighting condition as the third image. And here's the result. Excellent. As you can see, I was able to accurately transfer the lighting condition from the third reference image to the generated one. This is where Dream Omni 2 really stands out. It understands and extracts abstract attributes like lighting conditions, which most current solutions can't handle well. Even some commercial ones like Nano Banana or GPT-5. Alright, and those were a few quick examples of Dream Omni 2's multimodal image generation capabilities. Now, let's move on to the editor workflow where you can modify anything you want while keeping the rest of the image perfectly intact. Here, I've got a photo of a guy taking a check-in picture. This time, I'm going to edit the photo by replacing the man with my elf girl character. The prompt is simple. Replace the man in the first image with the woman in the second image. Click run, and instantly I get the edited photo with my character checking in at the same location. As you can see, Apart from the guy being replaced, all other elements remain unchanged, and the model smartly in-paints the background where needed. This example shows that with Dream Omni 2, you can bring any concept to life with your character, from the subject, pose, and lighting to the background. All it takes is a simple prompt. For the next example, I added a handbag and asked the model to copy a pattern from another product onto it. And boom! I instantly got a new handbag with the exact pattern I wanted. Apart from the colors and textures being changed, the original bag design, such as the handles and hooks, as well as the background, were all perfectly preserved. I think this makes things incredibly easy for product designers, who can now generate thousands of new design ideas with just a prompt and a single click. Finally, here's another fun feature of Dream Omni 2 that I want to show you, font copying. You can copy any font you like simply by using a prompt like, have the same font. Then click Run, and you instantly get new text using that font. The content, objects, and background remain almost completely unchanged. For someone like me who doesn't know much about typography, this is super convenient. Just like pattern copying and lighting condition transfer in the previous examples, this ability to extract abstract information is where Dream Omni 2 truly outperforms other solutions. And that wraps up a few of my real-world tests showcasing what this workflow can do. Pretty impressive, right? Before we end the video, let me share a quick tip to help you use this workflow more effectively. Even though you can already get amazing results with a simple prompt, there are still some important rules you should follow when writing it. The key rule is, be clear about the order of your input images. For example, if you want to refer to the man in your first input image, you should say, from the first image. 
This helps the model clearly understand which subject you're referring to and avoid any confusion. That's why in all the examples I showed earlier, I always included phrases like from the first image, from the second image, from the third image. As long as you follow the structure, you'll be able to generate stunning, accurate images exactly the way you want. So, that's my complete walkthrough on how to build the Dream Omni 2 workflow for both image generation and image editing with multimodal inputs. I hope you watched the video all the way through so you can catch all the tips and tricks I shared along the way. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it so more people can discover my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.